Hi, so a friend of mine wrote to me and mentioned something called the Carpen Cell. Now, to be honest, I'd never really heard of it, so I had a quick look on the net last night to find out some information about it. And the information is relatively sketchy, and actually in some places just plain wrong. There's a PDF out there on how to build a Carpen Cell, and actually it gives you information on how to build a Volta Cell. In the end, I found um, the Carpen Patent, which had been originally in French, patent in 1924, and um, it had been translated into English, so I had a look at the English version. And it worked, turns out there are three versions of the carbon cell. The version that's supposed to still be working is made out of gold and silver and sulfuric acid of high purity. And now there's no chance whatsoever that a home experimenter is going to be able to make a carbon cell like that. But luckily Carpen did something that was really, really simple, and it's his third cell type. And his third cell type uses either two different metals, two different types of carbon, or a carbon and a metal. So I thought, hey, that's interesting, let's try the ink. So I painted up a square of ink like this, and it's um, just PET, it's the ink painted on PET. And took a bit of aluminium roofing foil this size, and you can see the size in the rough uh, five square centimetres, and stuck them in a beaker. Now in there is some sodium carbonate, it's washing soda. So I took a tablespoon of um, sodium carbonate and some water, stirred it around, and stuck those two things in there. Now, it's all very rough and ready, but what's absolutely amazing is that you can see the reading there on the voltmeter now, and that's set at volts. So it's reading uh, 0.213 volts, and it's reading that across a 10 ohm resistor. In a minute I'll do the open voltage, but as you can see with the voltage there, what we're getting is uh, 21.4 milliamps from essentially 5 square centimetres in some washing soda. So that struck me as really fascinating, and um, that is the basic carbon cell, uh, and it does seem to work. I mean, what we'd have to do, obviously, is leave that sitting around for, I think it's something like 73 years, the carbon cell is supposed to be, have been running. So 73 years later, that should run out. But I thought I'd do a quick replication, just so that you could see how fascinating it was. So there we are with no uh, load resistor attached, and you can see that the open cell voltage is around about 656. It drops and rises, it'll probably drop down to about 640 or so and then go back up to 680 and it seems to cycle through that. But I thought that was kind of cool, as there's an easy carbon cell replication using the graphene ink and a strip of aluminium. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching.